Hi Greetings, today we will continue with page 77 and we will be doing the right side of it which is a pentagonal pyramid. So we are gonna, I have already started but we will continue from there. I am just gonna explain what I did so please don't mind. I have made a mistake so I erased everything but then this is a 30 degree line because our drawing is sitting at 30 degrees and then a perpendicular line that is going at a 60 degree angle so what i'm going to do since the base of our or one side of the pentagon is 22 we're going to come here at our starting point which is o and then we measure 11 on each side then we mark 22 so that is our 22 the just outlining it so that you can see it properly and then from there i'm going to use the drawing method to draw the the to draw the pentagon I'm just gonna lightly draw 60 degree lines that I can align my protractor with. So here where the line is passing by the edge of the 22 on one side, I'm going to go all the way to 72. Remember 72 divided by 5 sides gives you I mean 360 divided by 5 side it gives you 72 hence we are using 72 degrees and then again 71 2 then we will have a point there so we have a point here and we have another point there so those points we're going to take a ruler and join them so I'm going to draw it the edge of my 22 line. Let me use a different color for construction. Be join it with that. And then do the same for the other side. I'm going to join these two points here. And then just make sure it joins. So that is what we have. So on those two lines, you're now going to make sure that you open your compass to 22. So let's just double check. It is indeed 22. So you're going to put it there, mark. Put it there as well, mark it. So there you have your other two sides still at 22. Open it, there, create an arc. And come here, create an arc. And just like that, you have your apex. So you're going to join your apex with the, this point. And then come this side. And get your apex as well. To join with that point and then same thing here okay. then join the last line using the two points and just like that you have your pentagon so keeping in mind that this is a pyramid a pentagonal pyramid meaning that we have the base, which is a pentagon, hence the name pentagonal, but then everything else is triangles. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five triangles, all meeting at this point, which is the highest point, and we call that the apex. So we're now going to find where that apex is. So we know that this line, this is the center of this line, what we are going to do is bisect that line that is opposite it. 
So at any distance of your choice, just create an arc and then an arc as well here and then come this side as well, arc, arc, then join those two points. Join those two points like that. So where this line intersects with this one at 60 degrees, that is where you will have your center of the pentagon. So now you can have your hidden detail lines all meeting at that point. So you'll have a line from here going there. Then you'll have another one in here, going there, and then from there as well. Then you have one that is straight from there, and then the last one will come from here. Not straight there, but I'm sure you get the draw. So all of our lines are meeting at this point, which we will call point one, and then here we will have A, B, C, D, and E. Then we have point one in the middle, in the middle, which is the apex. And then while at it, we will draw our XY line. You measure 10, I'm sure by now you know, measure 10, and then using 30 degrees. I didn't mean for it to be that one. Just reduce it a little. So you have your XY line. So this is your Y. This is your X. And then once you have your XY line, now we will draw the front view. From the XY line, we are going to measure 10 as well. So that we can start drawing the front view. And then from there, we're going to measure 45 millimeters down. So from where we marked the, where we marked our 10, we just know that we have our 45 there. So my 45 is going to be there. Now let me project all these lines. 60 degrees using the 60 degree line. So all of them point D down, point E, point E down, point C, which shares also a line with point 1 and O down, point A down, point B down. Now that we have our point, since we measured our 45 to be here, sitting at a 30 degree, and going to outline. And every point will be joined here. The So the middle point, if you can see from there, it's a solid straight line. It's a solid straight line. And then the rest of the lines, you have hidden detail and solid. So from here it's hidden detail. 
Reading, 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 and then also this side. Reading all the way, and then the outer part will be three lines. As you can see here, just double checking. And then just like that, you have your front view. Now we're going to go into labeling. Like I've already mentioned, your highest point, which is your apex, is your 1. And then on here, we have D. Then here we have E. And then on this line, we have C. Here, A. And then we have B. So that is our point called joint B at the apex, which is 1. Now we're going to draw our top B. So from the lowest point, which is D, just going to measure 10 millimeters down to get our x, y, 1. So that is 10 millimeters down. And then x1, y1. So you can see there. And then now we're going to ensure that we transfer all of the points. So starting with the first one, which is our highest point. And then we're going to transfer D, E, C, A, and B. So now we have our points like that. And then it's time to now trace them. So as we all know, we can start by tracing the highest point it's the so you're going to open the distance from the xy line to one so you can see there so let me just adjust my compass properly so from the xy line to one this is the distance that we have then we're going to come here at our xy one mark one and then the rest of the we're going to also ensure that we get them so we're going to start with d x y line to d that is the distance then you come here mark d so this is D, and then X, Y line, let's just double check if E and B have the same distance, so that we do, yes, they do. So B and D have the same distance, B and D have the same distance, so with the same distance, while I'm at it, I can just mark B as well because they have the same distance from the xy line so i'm going to mark b and then what i'm going to do is now do e and a so e just a little bit so this is the distance for e and as you can see a as well so they share the distance so as i mark E, I will also go and mark A. And then I have E here, A here. And then now we will open our compass to the distance of C. 
So on the same line that you used to find 1, which is the apex, you will find C. And this is the distance, as you can see, from the x, y, C. Then I will mark my distance like that. So I have all of my four points, now it's time to join them. Sorry, not, not four points, but six actually. So since we know that this is a pyramid, all these points are going to be joined here at one. So every point will be joined and then we'll go to one. So first we will ensure that we join the points. So I will join A and E and then remember this is our point C and then I will join B and C B and C B and D A and B and then so like that and then also what we know is that each and every point here is joined to one because one is the apex so i'm going to join e and one e and one a and one B and 1, C and 1, and then also D and 1. Let's make sure that we get it from that side. So that is our top view then. Now let me just zoom in so that we can start seeing where we are going to outline. So from here, when you are looking at your drawing from the top like that, when you are looking at it from the top like that, you can clearly see all these. And because they are all joined there, so it means every line that is joined there, we are going to outline so AE will, will be outline as well as A1, B1 and C1. So C1, so all these lines here, all these alphabets here and one will all be outlined. So I'm going to say A1, and then here, and just this one, and then here, go to A1, there, and then C1. one and then now I will join those alphabets and then we are going to have a hidden detail so E For E D, we will have a hidden detail. There will also be a hidden detail for D N one because remember we are at we are looking at it like that. So D N one will be then hidden. C and D as well will be hidden detail. 
of the entity M1 is clearly visible because of B. So now we will draw our left view here, but first we have to transfer our points. So we first have to get the second XY line. So from this point here, we will measure 10. And then once the 10 is measured, we will draw the vertical, the vertical XY line. So this is the XY line. Mm -hmm. This is the x y line. So you will mark it y2 x2. And we will have a 45 degree line. Put in here so that we can project our points properly. So now that we have those, we're going to project all of our points to A up to D and 1. So C, you can see B and D, no, they are not the same actually. So B, And then let's try B. They're actually the same. So we'll do the same here with A and E. Just the same point. Then we have that. And then now we have to take point one. So just that point. Now we're going to take them vertically up. Here, up, 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 and up. So, once all of our points are up, we're now going to project from the front view to get the left view. So, we're going to project point D, E, C, A, B, and point 1, which is our highest point as we already know. And then now, we know that this line is for C. So this line, the last line is for C. Where is C? C is from all the way there, so we're going to join C here, and we are going to write C. And then we have D and B on the same line. So we have D here, we have point D, and then we also have B at the top, so we will have here and then we have um, our point one which is that one D point one and then A and E E will be here so we will have E here and then A on the same line we will have A here. So as you can see, the drawing is being looked at from this direction, meaning that you're going to see all of these numbers, I mean all of these alphabet, meaning from A up until D, you'll be seeing them, and that as well. So it means that you will see them, and then some of them will be hidden detail as you join the top. So for the base, Let's outline all of the alphabet A up until D, I mean E. Straight line, and then 
So that is what you are going to have at the Now for which point will be at the apex, remember we are looking at our drawing from this direction. So you will see B1, A1 and C1 and then E and D1 will be in hidden detail. So you're going to join A1, A1, and then A1 as well. So it's A1, B1, B1, and then C1. And then E and D will be hidden detail ones. So you're going to show them like that in hidden detail. And then if there is a few drawing. So that is your pyramid, you can see the base there with the pyramid and then the rest of the shapes that make up the apex is triangle.